Just want to make a quick note that I didn't watch Big Brother Over the Top when it first aired, and given the format of it, I would have had to have watched it while it was airing, so don't ask me anything about that. Okay, Big Brother 19, um... Yeah, I'm with um, a good amount of the uh, crowd out there and that this appeared to be a step down from uh, last season. Now, I did um, find myself enjoying it, but I found myself enjoying it in bits and pieces, certain aspects of it, and that's pretty much it. Whereas for uh, last season of the U.S. version, I found myself enjoying pretty much the whole ride, at least that's how I remember it, <laughs> right? So, um, I was lucky enough that I wasn't spoiled anything that was going on while on this season was air rain. so when I, uh, learned about Paul coming back, I was like, whoa, that's interesting, but then, the way, um, Julie referred to him coming back was the first, like, buy-in, or buy-back, something like that, and I was like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 you're gonna make this a regular thing, where you take, like, a, f a veteran, and then, um, make it so all the other contestants, you know, um, have to go for a whole bunch of competitions where one of them ends up booted and then the veteran takes their place? Is this gonna be a regular thing? I don't really like that, but then again, I don't really like it in any, uh, time that a reality show brings out a bunch of people out to there, but then eliminates a couple of people on the spot, just really? What's the point of putting them through all that hassle, you know? To get on the show and then not even have a real chance, just... That's pathetic, okay? Seriously, just... You shouldn't have done that. Really? Wait. But then again, of course, what other consequence can they really do? And one would argue that because there was the uh, battle back a bit, it was somewhat redeemed. And you're right, it was, but... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So there was that. Then we've got the uh, first couple rounds of the game where um, the lines gradually drawn in the sand where you have Cody and Jessica getting removed from the house whereas Paul reels in almost everybody and then you've got Mark and Elena and then a couple of other people at one point that was somewhat in the middle before they all joined because I think Cody had like the whole couples alliance kind of thing going there. Um, I did find it kind of interesting because it did feel unusual, you know, that so many people would ally against a couple of other people, but what was interesting was that um, Cody and Jessica were able to stick around, you know, much longer than many other people would in that situation. Oh, sure, you've got uh, Frank and Big Brother Fort. Teen, you know, kind of outlasting the odds, and then you've got uh, Brendan and Rachel from Big Brother 12, but those were um, kind of different because there was a little more factions, whereas for here it really did seem to be just those two factions. Well, that's me. So, it was kind of interesting, but it did um, get a little depressing in some instances, especially given, you know, Josh's actions, and, um, that kind of got to me, because, um, even though he made it clear that quite a lot of his actions, especially after, uh, the second person that was evicted, uh, Julian, I think it was based on my quick research that I did before turning this on, after that, it did seem to be that he was making all those antics be all for show, you know, make people keep around, believe that he's, like, a confused or irrational at times, but the thing was, it seemed to be that he was able to do that a little too easy, even though, as I've said before, it's real easy to appear arrogant on these reality shows. And I'm getting off Josh for a second, I want to um, bring up one thing about Cody. Now, I uh, didn't really like this guy, although ironically I uh, found myself, you know, kind of hoping that he and Jessica would, um, you know, uh, get together, because there seemed to be more of something there than a lot of other show match matches that happened on this show, Survivor, but I want to say one thing in his defense. If there's anybody out there, even though I wasn't able to find anyone, who calls him that, you know, he's a jerk and then is not, like, upholding, like, the military honor, you do realize you can find jerks everywhere, okay? 
There were jokes in high school, there was jokes in college, there were jerky teachers, there's jokes in the military, there's jokes everywhere, okay? Or people who appear arrogant, if you want to even say that, or exuberant that tons of negative qualities in their personality, just enough, okay? Just, you find people that you don't like everywhere, that's what I'm trying to make here, okay? So, focus on Cody's personality, not what he has on his resume, just enough, anyway. About that, but getting back to Josh, as I said, it did seem to be a little bit too easy, and the first round in like a half, I believe that was 100% genuine, so, yeah. Now, later on, Josh, you know, did begin to improve, you know, well, he began to consider making side deals and doing things that gradually showed, you know, Paul was, um, hurting other people, dropping subtle hints that he wanted to break away from him, and, and for a while at least, but then concluded, hey, wait a minute, the best chance that me and Christmas have for continuing in this game is actually sticking with Paul, so... Even though he'll be a bit of a pain, the three of us together, we can wipe out the competition, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to risk it, and deal with that. We've seen that before, Survivor uh, Second Chances, for one. And then, uh, let's bring up Christmas. Um... Okay, I'm torn, because, um... While it wasn't an, oh my god, hugely de D, d what's the word I'm looking for? Debilitating? I'm sure one of, somebody out there knows what I'm trying to say here. Injury. The fact that she wasn't able to participate in much of the competitions, you know, totally wiped out a lot of her credibility. Now I know that she argues that she did the social aspect. Well, yeah, that's part of the game, but nonetheless, she was kept because, for a lot of it, because she just, you know, couldn't keep up. Uh, They'd be able to beat her later, and even though she was able to perform more and more later on, just... I can't help but feel like producers deliberately altered the competition so she would be able to participate in them towards the end, just... It's complicated, because I do like Christmas, but... All that credibility just, poof, down, and it wasn't even like Missy on, um... Survivor San Juan del Sur, because that was very, very far into it. So there's an argument here. Not so much. Hmm. Right. So I know how Evil Dick feels about that, because I remember seeing a couple of tweets about him while this season was airing. Mm hmm. And then, um, almost forgot about that, uh, contestant that uh, walked from the game because she felt like her, um, Remarks were taken out of context. I definitely do feel like they were taken out of context, and it seems like Paul um, did a little bit of work on that based on one clip that I was able to find. And that's really all I can say on it. So, this is, I think, the first time that someone has, you know, truly uh, chosen to quit when they didn't really have to, because, like, Dick. Um, it seemed like the producers wanted him out, even though Dick himself um, was like, I'm concerned about my girlfriend, I uh, want to get out of here, because I recall seeing a video of him, which I haven't been able to find since, that um, producers did actually offer to let him continue, even though they said, had we known about this, we wouldn't have let you back in. And then, of course, we have no clue what happened to that guy in Big Brother 9, but who cares about Big Brother 9, right? And also, I'm glad that they didn't do a jury battle back. Just like, seriously, that twist of bringing back house guests needs to be given a break, okay? Just have a couple of seasons where we don't have returning house guests, okay? Just, we really need that to happen, okay? It just really annoys me that they uh, keep doing that, now why didn't it annoy me beforehand? Well, that's because they spaced it out. You didn't know if they were going to do it or not, but then doing it all the freaking time, especially in Big Brother 18, while they brought back two people? That was overkill. Right. And then, um, after... 
Cody and Jessica were uh, finally uh, taken out, then we begin to see Paul, Josh, and Christmas gradually cement themselves as the power people, and then get rid of everybody else, especially those couples one by one by one, and that was pretty interesting, because in hindsight, you would have thought that a bunch of these people would have been able to see it coming, and then they didn't really believe it until they were all practically out the door. <laughs> It was pretty impressive, even though we had that stupid bit with the races where they didn't do a single race. Just, okay, like, um, Raven and, uh, Alex, I think people will believe those throws, but Paul and Josh, what? I mean, like, I'm laughing, but it's Will Ferrell humor. I also want a face plant. It was bad. Right. Yeah, and that's also when, you know, um, things began to turn for Josh, and people began to drop mentions of him, mentioning that he was improving, and unlike uh, Steven in Big Brother 17, I was actually able to see actual progress in this. I don't feel like the live feeds would have um, helped me. I was able to view it on my own, and that was nice, because... Before then, I was thinking, okay, so who's the big bet after Paul to win this? And then I'm like... I guess it's Josh, although that's kind of surprising, because you would have thought that this guy would have had no chance to win this, but as it kept going on and on, and I'm like, maybe, maybe. But at the same time, it was kind of disheartening to see a couple of the fallouts that happened to um, these people, because, like, um, you know, they did have to uh, trick uh, Jason and Alex especially, and, you know, that moment that Paul had with her at the end, that was, um... Kind of tough, although um, I do feel like she reacted somewhat um, immaturely. Now, I get that, okay, you know, you do form friendships on these shows, and you put a lot of trust in people, then when they reveal, you know, the plan was always to turn against you, that hurts. Because, like, I remember when the, uh, the Alliance of Big Brother 12, I forget the name of it right now, revealed to Brittany that, um... They were going to evict her at the top four, although if Lane had won that veto, I really don't know what he would have done, but it's kind of similar. Mm-hmm. That was tough. Right. And then, um, let's talk about Paul here. Um... Uh, it's kind of interesting to see the comparisons between my viewings of Paul and um, everybody else's viewings of Paul because the general trend seemed to be that people liked Paul more in Big Brother 18 rather than this season. But this season I actually liked him a little bit more because at the start of the season he didn't give me a bad impression this time and he seemed to be a little more strategic in... Um, who he you know he wanted out, who he aligned with, rather than on an emotional basis, which is what he did at the start of Big Brother 18. 18 so, it's ironic. I liked him a little better this time, and uh, the general public liked him less. Hmm. Interesting. So then, um... Uh, oh yeah, what about the uh, Temptation twists? Um... They were kind of interesting, but um, I can't help but think that it's a little odd that all three of the first, you know, twists were given to arguably the person who most needed help in the game. Because, you know, Paul getting the uh, immunity, Christmas getting the additional veto, Jessica getting something that had potential to keep her and Cody in there. You know, it is possible that everyone who voted genuinely wanted them to win that, and the fact that if you get one twist, you can't get another, that does kind of help, because it is possible that, you know, had Paul been available for all three, he would have gotten all three, but it's still a little coincidental. And then also, um, the fact that because Jessica does the halting hex, then all of a sudden you have, um, the, uh... Temptation Battle thingy, where we have a third nominee just... Really? Like, the third nominee twist that they did for this season were honestly ridiculous, if you ask me. Yeah, totally. 
And then the Tree of Temptation, um, not a bad idea, but putting it in with the rest did seem to be a little bit overkill, and I really wish somebody out there would have explained what bounty on your head was, because all the rest, they make sense. It's a bummer that I can't find anything about what that was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we get to the top three. And that was a pretty interesting battle of the HOH, and I was actually pretty surprised when Josh um, chose to take Paul rather than Christmas, but once he explains his reasoning, I go, yeah, that does make a sense, because he was hoping in the back of his mind that Paul um, had pissed off a lot of the jury, especially with the remarks that he did in his goodbye messages, which was actually pretty good. I think that's the first time I've really seen somebody repeatedly use the goodbye messages as a way to sway or inform people, because people have informed other people beforehand, yeah. And um, going into um, that jury bit, I really didn't know who was going to win between um, Paul and Josh, because unlike last time, it wasn't the case of who did better at the end, it was whose negative aspects had turned people off, or did Paul, you know, just do bad jury management enough? And um, as it turned out, he did do bad jury management because he lost 5-4 to four again, which I was totally um, surprised by because my thinking was Matt and Raven were actually going to vote for Josh and that um, either Jason or Alex would have voted for Paul. So, like, right at the end there, I had begun to think that, uh, Josh probably would win, but the fact that he won 5-4 was kind of a shock, and... I'm actually a little bit bummed, but, 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 it's not for the reasons you think, because I'm actually perfectly okay with Josh winning, because they... The edit brought in the possibility that he could win so long ago, along with the idea of Paul doing bad jury management, that this outcome was not that unexpected. This is what I don't like. The fact that it was 5-4, to four, because that sends a mixed message. Because, yes, it shows that Paul did bad jury management, but he almost got it despite that. And, um... Unlike last season, I felt even more sorry for Paul, because like last time, I did feel sorry for him, but I saw his interview and I'm like, okay, he'll be able to move on from this, and I was actually a little bit more for Nicole, although, <laughs> to be honest, I can't explain to you why, but this time, I do feel kind of bummed that he was, you know, one vote short. Although, I'll admit, I am being somewhat hypocritical, because had either one of these two situations happened, Either Paul had won by 5-4, or, get this, if he had lost by 7-2, meaning Matt and Raven had switched the votes to Josh, I actually wouldn't be complaining at all, because had it been 7-2 for Josh, I'd feel about the same amount of sorry that I felt for Paul as I did last season, because I'm like, yeah, bad jury management, pal. There you go. But also, um, I want to bring up a slight point of contention that I don't think everyone out there noticed, and that I only noticed just before I started making this video. So you know how Big Brother US and Big Brother Canada originally started out with juries of seven, but then eventually, for whatever reason, increased that number to more than seven? Well, that increase has mattered exactly two times when they've done that. You want to take a guess as to which two times that they are? This season and last season. Now remember, okay, I was actually more from the cold to win last season, and I was actually okay with Josh winning this season perfectly. But what I'm trying to get at is that that throws a big um, issue for producers, because a lot of the Paul fans are going to be yakking at them, why did you increase the jury? Because had you not done that, Paul would have won both times. Eh? Huh? I just want to point that out to there. Even though, as I said, uh, I'm fine with Josh winning, and I could not decide who I wanted to see win more between them. But this is like the first time where I'm not complaining so much about the actual result, I'm complaining more about how the actual result went down. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Yeah. 
And then we've got, um, the controversy for this season, and like, ugh, I was amazed at how long the Wikipedia entry was. It was huge! Like, half of the house guests made all kinds of bad remarks, you know, Paul doing things to undermine P. Poor Jason making bad remarks to other people, including Kevin, who he had a, apparently a good relationship with on the, the show, mentioned how he slept with his wife, Kevin's wife, I mean, just, really? That's ridiculous! And then Cody being, giving out some somewhat anti-transgender remarks, Jessica doing whatever it is she did, I, I couldn't really figure that out, and just, oh man, <laughs> yeah. I'm with you, Dick. Total like, evil dick, sorry. <laughs> that this was definitely a step down. Like last season, I thought what they did with the covering up was bad, but this, oh my gosh. Just, yeah. So, uh, producers, if 20, which is airing right now, doesn't, um, you know, um, give us at least an okay season? Hmm. I'm gonna argue that we're back in the uh, rut again, and I really don't want to do that. I really don't. Right. So, as per usual, I'll look down in the comments where I post the rankings, because I've there's so many seasons to keep track of right now, it's kind of impossible for me to uh, figure that out. Hope you enjoyed this, even though I know that I definitely skipped some stuff.